Dunes and moons and Ferris wheels. That dizzy dancing way you feel when every fairy tale comes real. I looked at love that way. When I was a little girl, I never wanted to get married. I never wanted to be a mom. I just dreamed of traveling the world and, and being free and never falling in love. Whenever I think of St. Patrick's Day, I think of that movie about last night. Demi Moore and Rob Lowe. They're standing out in the rain and he's telling her that he still loves her and wants her back. And she says, I gave you love. I gave you love and you threw it away. It's wonderful to come talk to you today. How are you doing today? Um, a couple weeks ago, I did a video on my skincare uh, nighttime routine, uh, and you seem to like that, and you asked me if I would do a daytime uh, routine, and I would love to do that for you. So I'm going to do that today. Um, we'll go through uh, the products. We'll take them one by one, and we'll chat a little bit about each one of them. The first thing I do in the morning is I go to the refrigerator and I grab some iPads out of the refrigerator so I can put them under my eye to reduce swelling and I get these vitamin C iPads uh, from the Dollar Tree and it's only a dollar a package uh, for uh, two sets. So I love those and they do help me with the swelling around my eyes. Um, then I go take Cooper out uh, and that's like a half hour walk. Um, when I get back I cleanse my face and I cleanse my, my very favorite uh, way to cleanse my face is with shea butter soap. Uh, I did a whole video on shea butter soap and why it's so wonderful. Uh, I did that video about a year and a half ago. Um, but it not only gets your face so clean, it melts your makeup away. Uh, it is a wonderful antioxidant. It's a wonderful form of vitamin A. But it, it's so nourishing and so um, uh, hydrating for your skin. And it kind of helps uh, give the illusion like your skin is a little plumped up. I don't use a Clarisonic, but I do use a cleansing tool. It's by Instrumental Beauty, and it is a sonic tool. Uh, it is. Uh, it looks like this. I have showed it before in a couple other videos, and um, a lot of gals are showing this in their videos. Uh, uh, my friend Marla, um, uh, she did a great video on this. Um, uh, Miss. Um, uh, Colleen, uh, Miss Cavalier, I just watched her uh, cleanse her face with this last night uh, in a video. I wasn't at her house. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, she was so cute too when she was doing that. She looked like she was 12. But okay, I digress. Um, so there's a lot of videos out there showing you how to use this tool, but I absolutely love it. I love it for two main reasons. And um, well, it gets my skin clean. It feels like a wonderful massage. 
Uh, and you don't have to go and change the brush heads and the price is right. It's about $32. So the next thing I do is I use a serum and the serum is my vitamin C serum, my Matrixel 3000 serum, and my Argerilin and they're all in one serum by Astrowood Naturals. Uh, and I have mentioned this before in other videos why I, I love uh, all three of these products so much. but. They all tackle different issues. The vitamin C uh, helps uh, with firmness and with age spots and the Argerilin helps. Uh, it almost acts like a Botox relaxing the muscles in our face uh, and how it clamps around our wrinkles giving a, you know, our face a look like, oh, you know, we really don't have any wrinkles. Um, and the Matrixel 3000 is a wonderful antioxidant and there's so many studies on Matrixel uh, 3000 and why it's good for us. So this is all, uh, all in one serum and I absolutely love it. Uh, I'll put a link to it uh, below. So the next thing I use is my Dell Organics Hyaluronic Acid Serum and this has willow bark, reishi mushroom, uh, and licorice root and this is such a wonderful serum. It's such a wonderful company. I can't imagine my uh, skincare routine without uh, having this serum. Um, this serum helps me uh, uh, even out my skin tone. It helps to bleach uh, any type of uh, age spots that uh, that I have. It acts like hydroquinone without using hydroquinone. Uh, so uh, it's pretty amazing. This runs 18, right around $18. So I think it's just an amazing value. Um, and I think I forgot to say that both of these serums run about $18. So they're amazingly affordable. Um, so I, I just can't say enough good things about uh, the, uh, the Dell uh, Brightening Serum. So those are the two serums that I use in the daytime. I pull out the big guy, the rosehip seed oil, and I take a couple drops of rosehip seed oil and I just put it in my hands and I press it into my skin. And I probably do that with a little tapping uh, for about, you know, three or four minutes. And I do that for a couple reasons. It gives me a nice dose of vitamin A. It helps uh, circulation to my skin. It gives me a nice natural blush and a natural glow. And it just overall, uh, for skin health, I absolutely love my rosehip seed oil. So I use that day and night. I would not be without that uh, for underneath my makeup in my daytime uh, routine. Um, the last thing I do before I put on uh, my primer for my makeup is I do use a Lancor Day Cream. And this is a very interesting day cream. Um, I am not a person that is a big fan of creams and I'm not sure that I would actually use this day cream if it was summer, but because it's winter, I need all the hydration that I can get. So this is the Lancor uh, day cream and it is loaded with Manuka honey. And I am such a huge fan of Manuka honey. And I also use, I am using uh, two different eye creams uh, from the same company. <laughs> uh, I keep both of these in the refrigerator because I need all the help I can get with swelling around my eyes. Um, this uh, eye cream is from Lancor and this is a collagen eye cream. Um, this eye cream uh, is from Lancor also, but this is basically Manuka honey eye cream uh, with apricot extracts. So um, I am using right now both of them, but I have to be really honest with you, I, I do like this one so much better than the collagen one. I feel this collagen one is just a little bit too thick for me, but the Manuka Honey one, I just feel so positive about it because I can actually see the swelling go down.
I really think the challenge of divorce is so much more than just loneliness or fear. Self-doubt that maybe we're not capable of, of loving anybody. And even though we know it's not true, maybe sometimes it feels true. in natural light and in the winter it's such a challenge for me uh, so you will kind of see snippets you know from one day to the next uh, you know just trying to take advantage of like an hour of light that I might have so um, if you're wondering you know that video is a little disjointed <laughs> it's a different day and she has a different outfit on <laughs> but um, that's the reason I'm, I'm trying to uh, film in in the light as much as I can. But, you know, Mary Tyler Moore passed away and uh, I felt so sad about that. And I remember as a little girl, you know, after President Kennedy was killed, I felt so bad and I would watch the Dick Van Dyke show and I loved that show and I loved uh, Mary Tyler Moore in that show. I thought she looked like Jackie Kennedy and uh, she was pretty and, and funny and talented and too, you know, through a little girl's eyes, you know, she was perfect. <laughs> and and then later on, uh, when I was 18, uh, I was pregnant and really scared. Actually, I was 17. Uh, and she had a show on, uh, on Saturday nights. There was the Bob Newhart show and there was the Mary Tyler Moore show. And uh, she was a single woman working in a newsroom, giving all the guys around her crap. And, um, you know, she wasn't in the mold of, you know, June Cleaver and... Uh, uh, Ozzie and Harriet and I Love Lou. I mean, she was an independent, intelligent woman that had a career. And uh, she was everything. She, um, she was smart, she was successful, uh, and she was beautiful. And I don't know, she just made me feel better. And every week when the music would play and she'd throw her hat up into the air and, and, and you'd hear the lyrics of the song, she's going to make it after all. And I felt like they were talking to me. I felt like she was talking to me that, yeah, I was scared and I didn't know what I was going to do, but, you know, I was going to throw my hat up in the air and I was going to make it after all because, see, she was. So... Maybe it sounds corny, you know, but I think her contribution to uh, women uh, feeling powerful and I think her contribution of uh, showing women perhaps an alternative roadmap into how their lives could be fulfilling and happy, um, I think she did a tremendous job. at love from both sides now, from near and far. That's love's illusions, I recall. remember you know the scene where she throws her hat up in the air and and the song is going <laughs>